Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Hacky Tech Playground. Today I have a small pause, but you know it is really better to prepare quality content than hurry with every episode every week. And I decided to give you more and more interesting stuff. Like today, Chef Inspect with AWS. Uh, I had like really cool presentation with the guys from Microsoft and Google uh, on SecTech conference in Slovakia, which was really interesting experience. And I was telling to myself that, you know, it was not enough to tell you all the details. So in this episode, I will dedicate my time to give you more insights of Chef Inspect and AWS integration together. Enjoy. So a few days ago, I was talking about on conference about Chef Inspect and AWS integration. I uh, think that I didn't have opportunity to say everything, so I decided to create a special episode about Chef Inspect integration with AWS, how you can run it on AWS, how you can automate it, and tell you more details about Chef Inspect, security as code, or compliance as code in AWS. Inspect brings a rubber-based controls this profile is specified in YAML and it contains the metadata like name, title, license, dependencies. Contains very specific controls like presence of engines, allow IP addresses, check the digest files on your images, or whenever you like on the operating system, like presence of specific files. A lot of community profiles and controls are already available for you. And this is really cool stuff because you don't need to be really good in coding and you can still have lots of controls already in place. And really, really great stuff is IDE support for Atom and Visual Studio Code. So if you use uh, Atom or Visual Studio Code, you are the lucky one and you can have really nice IDE support. Anatomy of Inspect profile is very simple. The profile from the root directory needs to contain two mandatory parts. It's controls with the rabbit based control file and the inspect, which is the profile itself. Only one thing is mandatory in the inspect profile definition. It's a, it's a name. And in the title, basically, it's a, uh, you can basically skip this one. But I recommend to write all of the things that you see there, like a maintainer, copyright, summary, version, what it supports, dependencies, and inspect version. Then another directories, they can have like libraries or files, which is a really great thing to do or to have. So you can have your own libraries, your own files, specific tasks, specific scripts. Very easy, very simple. Remember that. I will show you more in Visual Studio Code. And anatomy of inspect profile and the control itself is very simple. You have some entity like a security group and the property of the security group. That means it's variable. And it should have something. That means you are trying to describe some entity with some property, like a security group with a group and canary deployments should allow only specific port. And this should allow in only basically means that ingress traffic only matcher will is saying that the port 8443 will be allowed. Very simple and very good. And you know you don't need to be really like rocket scientist to be able to do that. Same thing is with the ECR images. You have ECR images entity, then the repository name as a property, and the matcher is it should be exactly five. So exactly five images should be there. Very great, very simple, and easy to use and easy to execute. If you will move forward with the inspect profile, there are various use cases like cloud trail. Uh, and be, uh, if it is enabled, if it is validated, EBS snapshots, if they are encrypted, a VPC, VPC status for the creations, if you have correct tags in the place, you can do it with AWS services too, especially with the AWS config, but with the inspect profiles, you can have more fun and play a little bit more in the details. Same as with the IAM group users, if specific users are in specific groups, if nobody you know changed the group, for example, privilege escalation, if some user didn't change its groups, that's really, really, really great defensive testing type. Security groups, if they exist, ingress, egress rules, or for ACR VKS, basically images count, the digest check, if the cluster is active or not. Really, very simple checks 
and they can have you give you an insight if your system was not breached or if there, are, if there are no changes that are not allowed or you can also check your configuration against the target architecture so if somebody didn't change what you actually designed or if your engineers are not very creative and the design architecture for the inspect in pipeline so you can use code commit and code pipeline code build and code deploy together with inspect basically the developer pushes the code in, a, in the code commit and from the code commit you are triggering the code pipeline it can have really cool things like linters or any code review for infrastructure as code so with the code build you can have for example first stage with cfn linting that you will deploy the application with application deployment and after that after the application is deployed you can use code build for basically uh, inspect stage to investigate your applications so you can run it after very very easy and very simple architecture for continuous and AWS monitoring with the inspect profile this is really like a line architecture from the blog that you can also find on the internet but added some small changes inspect can be run from or executed from inspect repository in github or s3 bucket storage then you will run the profile run inspect checks and it will be executed on the ec2 instance this ec2 instance is using system manager run command to execute these commands and output of this command is reflected in the fleet manager compliance and in this case uh, there is a cloudwatch event attached to the aws cloudwatch that executed mapping lambda, lambda based on the rules so you have the mapping lambda and then it executes the mapping to the security hub so all the data are mapped from the chef chef inspect to security hub and the findings will appear there and really cool thing is that you can use aws event bridge to execute some action on your soar like so if you are using splunk phantom or similar soar response platforms this will be really something that uh, you will look for and also you can execute something in run command for example to to remedy the data so very 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 automated and very straightforward security solution for improvement of your security posture and security status of AWS resources. So let's talk more about Chef Inspect. Chef Inspect is a very really cool tool for defensive testing or compliance as code. This will help you a lot to understand the details and Commodification of security controls not only in AWS but in any Linux, Windows, or any operating system. So let's let's dig deeper and investigate Chef Inspect and how we can use it. So Inspect is a very cool tool. Uh, you can install that on any operating system. So you can run it on Linux, Windows, or Mac. So whenever you like and basically execute your profile. Inspect is really nice, lightweight client that can codify your security controls and you can check them easily against GCP, AWS, Azure, very cool stuff, lots of vendors and lots of flexibility. So if you want to, for example, I will show you a few profiles right here. And if you want to use AWS profile, you first need to load the dependencies. For that, you need to use inspect vendor. And this inspect vendor will help you to load the dependencies and store and cache it in the so-called log file. So, and then I need to select the right profile. That means the directory with the profile. And I will use this AWS SOM. And this executive, executive command will basically, or this execution of the command, will take inspect, load the vendor dependencies, and put it in the load, uh, log file. These dependencies for the profile also most were successfully vendored and you see where they are stored. I'm using Windows especially, especially to show you that we can do it also in Windows, no matter the operating system. So I think that it's like a really cool thing to do and really cool thing to showcase. If you want to do the same thing twice, like reload your dependencies, or if you want to load new version of your dependencies, you need to use override. So you will use this parameter over right 
and when you have this overwrite, basically when you when you write it with the overwrite, you are easy, easy to be there and load new cache uh, into your log file. So you see dependencies were successfully loaded. So then you can use your AWS profile if you want to run the client against AWS resources. For example, if you want to use one of the uh, like community profiles, you can use Inspect Supermarket. Supermarket is like a shopping mall for profiles. So if you use Inspect Supermarket, it's a very cool thing and very easy to use. There are lots of pre-configured profiles that you can execute. So I'm interested in profiles. And when I get these profiles, basically I brought the profiles and then it's very, very cool. It will list the profiles for you and you will see what is going on, what is happening and what profiles are available for you. For example, Java, Chef Server, you can have Tomcat, there are some DevSec already prepared profiles for like Apache baseline, Linux, MySQL, or Engine's PHP baseline for the PHP developers, Postgre baseline, lots of things that you are ready to check or in and execute. For example, if I want to select one of these profiles and execute it, it's very simple. And I will select one of these. I'll select, for example, something very, very small and easy. I'm checking what will be due to showcase to you, what will be great. But I think that, for example, with Java, it will be simple. You can take this profile from your supermarket. And what we can do, we can easily inspect, inspect, and supermarket execution exec and then the profile so and then it will execute the profile from the supermarket very simple and you have already something to work with if you are using code build or run command in aws you can execute these commands really easily. it takes some time because the test must run the test must be executed so it consumes little bit of your time and then you will see the result then you see that there are some problems and i have like problems with loading the profile because some some pro some vulnerability or so, some, no, sorry no vulnerability there was like some small problem with loading the profile from target url that means that there was some transformation needed to be done then checks the the java environment and basically skips or pass some tests or fail the test. So you can have skip, fail or pass status of your control. Very simple and very easy. And if you want to, before you will basically run any profile in AWS, you need to check if your profile works well. With inspect, check, it will check the validity of your profile. With this thing, you can execute basically the control validation and verification if your profile it's correctly written, it's like linter, and it will tell you do you have some problems or the profile is ready to go, and then you can you know put it in S3 bucket or GitLab and, and e easily use it. For example, I will select one of these profiles, I will check the Revolge one. So with inspect check Revo Axon, I will selecting one directory with the specific profile. It will do the validation for me and it will tell me if it is okay or not. There is some control that is having no descriptions. That's okay. It's just a warning. There is no error. And it will tell me that my profile is valid. valid. So basically, this valid profile can be used and you can run it in System Manager. Very simple, very easy. If you want to run the command, but I want to do it here because it will take some time, you will use inspect, exec, and the name of the profile. So if you want to run, for example, Revo Window, this is my Windows profile, I'll execute it and this will take some time and it will do the scanning of my Windows machine where I will have lots of vulnerabilities, of course, and lots of misconfigurations that are needed to be remediated. And also based on this remediation actions or these recommendations, you can take some playbooks and execute them on your target machine. To execute an inspect profile and the controls, you just simply write inspect, exec, and the name of the profile. So in my case, I will use the Revo Cloud and execute the profile with inspect, exec, Revo Cloud. You execute the profile with the specific controls and then the test is executed. 
all the time, all the time that it takes, you know, it's a little bit longer because it executes all the different parts of your test. It executes all the controls and then you will see the output really easily and really fast. So it takes some time, but you can see it here that we skip the test because it's, it's not tangible for, for our Windows server. And then it fails other controls that we are running. So you see that three controls are failed and one control is skipped. Very simple, very easy. You can write your own code to test your own stuff. And this is amazing. It will be really great to show each other how basically works the profile itself. The profile is simply a YAML file with the RevolG name, title, the maintainer, the copyright, with the, the guy who maintains the, the profile, the license, the summary, and the version. So this is very simple YAML file. But with the controls, it's a bit, little bit harder. So when you look at the file, I have these four controls. So, so let's dig a little bit deeper. There's a control, the name of the control, and then the keyboard do, which will execute the compliance as a code, code structure, then the impact. Impact should be lower than one. If it is higher than one, you will get a warning that it cannot be. So it is from zero to one. Then the title of the, of the control, the description of it, that means if you, you can put your own recommendation and remediation details there, and then describe which tells the, the test how it should be done. So describe the SSHD config should do, another keyword, it's on port should be equal to 22. So SSHD config is running on port 22. So this is the matcher, it's called matcher, the value of the matcher, and this is the entity for the port. Same as it will be, for example, for the application location. So application should be located somewhere, and this application, you know, title, description, and then the definition of the test, subject file, it should be a file, and basically it should be the file on this location. If it is not there, then you have a problem. And same as with the benchmark with sys, and for example, IDA here, the impact is a bit lower, install the IDA package, and if it is missing on your system, another uh, part of the test, describe, the package IDA should be do here, keyword it, should be installed. So very simple codification of your compliance or security or defensive testing. So I hope that we can move forward and you are still enjoying and being here with me. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and I will try to deliver more and more stuff about the DevSecOps, cloud, open source and AWS and all of the things that engineers love and like and thank you so much for watching today's episode and looking forward in the next one.